Hey, hey, everybody. How are we doing today? What are you doing today in this beautiful snowy day? We are having a blizzard outside. It, it is cold. It's like 30 degrees below zero. So I'm just getting some of these things set up here. And I am hopping on to show you a live. Oh, so sorry. Say hey, hey when you pop in if you're watching this. Well, there's one person on, but if you're watching this, this is a replay. So I'm just hooking up my iPad here. I've got a few things changed up to see if this works better for us. Who's here? Say hi. I'm just trying to find myself here in my video and I can't seem to find it. Hey Pam, how are you girl? <laughs> Is it cold where you're at? Let's see. Give me one sec. Okay, I found it. Fabulous. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a new transfer out of our new spring and summer catalog. So I am going to move my camera a little bit so you can see my project. So I'm gonna do the best I can to see your, your comments. So here we have, we're gonna do the grandchildren transfers, brand spanking new right out of the package. And look at this cute board I made. Isn't that adorable? So this uh, board I made, we, my husband and I cut them last night. I painted it this morning and then I waxed it. And so it's kind of a off white color with some brown tones in it. Isn't that cool? It looks like really weathered. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So what we're gonna do, and if those comments on the bottom bother you guys, just swipe to the right and all those comments will go away. So with Chocolate Tour transfers, they come in these little plastic packages with all of the goodie instructions on the back. It tells you exactly how to use our product. And then it has a little hanger here so that we can hang them to store them, which is huge. Huge, huge, huge. I like to try to be organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the back of the transfer so that I know exactly where my silkscreen transfer is gonna go back on the backing because these are reusable. So I'm gonna write grandchildren. And let's do number one hand, number two hand and then I'm just gonna write it on the transfer. So with, with Chalk Couture Silk Screen Transfers, we have this amazing technology of being able to craft and reuse the same craft. So these transfers come with lines for us just to cut apart. So you just Follow the line, cut it apart. And I am going to do my board, I believe vertically. So I'm gonna do grandchildren on the top here, like this. And then I'm gonna put the little hands down here. Okay, so since this is a brand new transfer, you're gonna want to get your ink ready and you're gonna wanna fuzz your transfer. So, since this is not a Chalk Couture uh, surface, I use the Chalk Couture waxing paste, and all you have to do is take it and rub it over your surface, just like that, and then you take a smooth cloth and just rub it in and it, it, what it's doing basically is I'm protecting the surface for my transfers so that my transfers don't um, get abused if you will. 
So I've already prepared that. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna use a midnight sky. It's like a navy blue. I'm gonna take that paste and I am going to stir it really good and make it into a yogurt like consistency or sour cream. I like sour cream more than I like yogurt. So I like to say sour cream. So we are just gonna stir that baby up good. Just like that. This is, I'm using a multi-tool. <laughs> so it is cold where you're at, Pam. Isn't it not fun? Oh, I tell you what. It's just crazy. The wind is howling. School is canceled. All right. So it looks like I got a little chalk paste on my board. I'm just going to take a disinfecting wipe and I'm just going to wipe it off. So I am messy. I will be the first one to admit it. Just like that. But I make the mistake so that you guys don't have to. All right, Robbie's texting me. I'm live, honey, I'm live. All right, so we're gonna take this transfer off of its backing and we are going to fuzz it up pretty good. Just like this. And what, is, what this is doing is it's just making my transfer a little less sticky so that when I apply it to my surface, it comes off really easy. Really, really easy. <laughs> hey, Melinda, how you doing, girlfriend? How's the wind over by your way? <laughs> Nothing like trying to stay warm on a cold day like this. Okay, so I am going to put my wording at the top and try to center it the best that I can. And then I am going to put my fingers over where the screen is and make sure that I get all the little air bubbles out. Super easy. Negative 24 Pam, holy cow. It's insane. It is cold out, super cold out. Okay, so this says, grandchildren fill the space in your heart and you never, that you never knew was empty. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Okay. So I'm gonna just grab one of my uh, squeegees here and I'm gonna grab a bigger one just because I like to pull it down. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna load, load my squeegee up and just place it all over the top. And you wanna go on thick first because you're just gonna pull it down into the screen. Just like that. So chalk paste dries really fast. So when you're doing a project with chocolateur paste, you will want to work quickly because if we let the paste dry in the screen, chances are it could get pulled up. But usually I have really good luck. So I'm just going to push it down and I'm just wiping off the excess and then I'm gonna put it back in my jar. Isn't that groovy? All right, we're gonna peel and reveal. We're gonna go from bottom to bottom. There we go, I'm just gonna drop it in some cool water wash my hands because my hands got ink all over them. Okay, super cute. Oh, I must have had a little bubble. There was a little um, seepage in the E and the S, but that's okay because it makes it look authentic. 
Oops, can you see it? Isn't that cute? Feel the space in your heart you you never knew was empty. That's okay. That's super okay. All right, so then we're gonna take these cute little hands. And for those of you, um, I have two little grandsons. So I'm gonna put two hands, but if you have like five, you can put five little hands. So that last transfer, I fuzzed it really good. And that's maybe why I had the, the bleeding on the letters. So I'm only gonna fuzz this one once. See if that helps me. Okay. And I'm gonna put one right here. Now I wanna make sure that, of course I don't have my, oops have my blow dryer down here mm, look at that is is not sticking well let's not do that one let's just do this one without fuzzing it shoot now remember this is a non chalk tour surface so that could probably be my problem oh this one's better but I can wash this one let it dry and reuse it. Okay, yeah, this is nice and sticky. Can you guys see that? Can't see, oh, I'm sorry, Mindy. Let's see. Um, our, my transfers are anywhere from $9.99 all the way up to $32.99. So they are reusable, so you can get lots of projects out of just one transfer. So really, when it comes to do-it-yourself crafting, it's quite inexpensive because you don't have to continually buy uh, the, the transfers. You just reuse them over. Hey, Dawn, um, that's what's super cool about Chalk Tour. So I'm just gonna check this to make sure it's dry. Yep, it's dry. Okay. So um, you can use Chalk Tour paste and ink on all kinds of surfaces. Uh, that's why I'm trying this board just to show you guys how versatile it is. Now, Chalk Tour's board and bases and boutique boards are fabulous because you can just use water and um, wash it off and then redesign. You don't have to store your decor away for the holidays. You just design, love, and repeat. That's what's super cool about our board and bases. But I like to make gifts. Um, I'm very frugal. I will be the first to admit it. But when I see something um, that I really like, I don't care what I spend, within reason, of course. So I just inked it, or excuse me, I just chalk pasted it, and then I squeegeed it off, and then I'm gonna peel and reveal. Oh, isn't that cute? Here, I'm gonna show you. I'll get it close. Isn't that adorable? Adorbs, hey Dawn. Oops, my back camera's backwards. Isn't that just stinking cute? Super cute. So, I do this as a business, and I actually do make and takes, and I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna clean the back of it with a disinfecting wipe and that's going to reactivate the stickiness. Um, so back to, I do this as a business. I host sip and shocks, make and takes. I do vendor events just because I'm so passionate about crafting. And for those of you that are on here that have known me for a long time, you know I love to craft. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I just have a passion for it. So our new spring and summer catalog, or yeah, spring and summer catalog just launched. So it is online right now. And they have got, Chalk Tour has some amazing things available. There's anywhere from uh, horses and cowboy boots to barns to tractors to florals to sayings, motivational sayings, basketball, baseball. It's just, it's just endless. And everybody creates differently. So that just makes it even more exciting. Um, I'm a part of a team out of Rabbit City slash New Jersey, and the talent that these ladies come up with, now you guys, I'm a do-it-myselfer, but my creativity is tiny, 
but I get my ideas from Facebook. So, so this one I just um, wash off the back to make it sticky with the disinfecting wipe. And I'm going to add the other hand on this side. Can you guys see that? Just like that. Now it's not even, it's not even sliding around at all. All right. So if you guys like this video, since this is my business page, I would love it if you liked and shared it so we can spread the chalk magic of chalk tour. All right. So again, I just loaded it up with this midnight blue. I'm going to squeegee it off and put it back into my jar. I've used this midnight blue. I love it. It's really a fun color. I use it all the time and it's lasted me. Well, I've been doing this since October 1st. So since October 1st. There you go. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'll show you guys how to clean them too. Isn't that adorable? Okay. So I spilled <laughs> some chalk paste right here on this board. So what I could do is I could take um, some clips, um, clothespins, and I could hot glue them to the board right here, and I could cover that up. Really, I don't care. It's cool. It's authentic. It's rustic. I love it. Hey, Samantha! How's Rapid City, girlfriend? I bet you guys are cold! <laughs> so this is my creation that I made today. Actually, I'm going to put a, a frame around this. Um, probably in a really dark, dark, um, a really dark, oh, what do you call it? Like espresso color. So, um, Dawn, if you're still on here, that drama llama that you were looking at, would you want a board like this? Oh, I know it's freezing. Um, if you're, if you're interested, Dawn, I could do like this or I could do, um, canvas like we talked about. So I also do some custom orders. If you're not a crafter and you don't want to make anything, if you guys are looking for something, I can do that for you. I do canvas, I do boutique boards, I do uh, pillows. I'm really into pillows and there's some cool stuff out there. So if you have anything that you need, just message me and I'll help you get it all figured out. Um, thanks for joining me. I'll, let me show you guys quick how to clean these transfers. So what I did is I put it in a bath of cool water and I'm going to take um, this wipe that I just used and I'm just going to gently, now look at they stuck together but they're in the cool water so that makes them not stick together because you don't ever want your transfers to stick together because sometimes they're so hard to get off. So then you just rub them on both sides. Our chalk paste has natural pigments in it. So sometimes they do stain the transfer, but that's okay because they are reusable. So I marked this one with the one. Okay, Dawn, we can do canvas. I marked this with the one, so I know that's the front. So I'm just gonna lay it sticky side up. And then I'm just going to use my squeegee not my squeegee, my disinfecting wipe in the cool water. And what I'm, what I'm, what my goal really is, is just to make sure that I get all the paste out of the screen. So I'm going to lay that one sticky side up and then I'm going to do the back of the grandchildren transfer like that and then we'll do the front um, we have some board erasers that work really good but of course mine is on my shelf over there so you will see on this transfer that the paste stained it but that does not do anything to the integrity of the actual transfer so there we go I'm just gonna lay it sticky side up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brand new clean one and I'm just gonna wipe the sticky side because that reactivates the stickiness. Super fun! 
and then I'll, I'll just let them sit here and dry. If I have to run out of the house, like go pick up kids from school, I will make sure that I cover them or that my cat is downstairs so she doesn't like to walk on my counter when I'm gone because she would have some sticky transfer feet. And that's it, that's how I dry them. And then I just throw my squeegees in the water and same thing, just wash them up. Wash them up really good. So if you guys um, need any help with um, finding anything in the catalog, I'd love to help you. Because like I said, this is my passion. I love, 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 love sharing do-it-yourself crafting and decor with people. If you guys can share my video, I would really appreciate it. This is how I get the word out. This is how I get sip and talks. Um, this is how I teach people. So thanks for joining and we will see you again. I have some more projects coming. I have my grandkids tonight, but if I get a chance, I'll go live again to show you a um, board that I'm doing for my kitchen wall. So stay warm. We'll talk again soon. Love everybody. Bye-bye.